Hello everyone, this is Vijayta, Associate Professor in the Department of ECE from MLR Institute of Technology. I would like to talk on introduction of OPAM from linear integrated circuits. Today I would like to have a talk on these contents. What is an IC? Where do you use an integrated circuits? Why do you prefer an integrated circuits? Classification of IC, IC package types, OPAM internal circuits and equivalent circuit. First, what is an IC? An integrated circuit is a miniaturized low cost electronic circuit. Multiple electronic components are integrated on a single chip of a semiconductor material then that chip is called as an integrated chip and that single chip may contains active and passive components or maybe both active and passive components. Where do you use an integrated circuits? We can use integrated circuits in communications instrumentation and computers and even in electronics as an audio amplifier and lock to digital converters and current amplifiers, oscillators, etc. Why do you prefer integrated circuits over a individual active and passive components? When we are going with the IC, you will have a small size and you can have a low cost, less weight, low supply voltage, low power consumption, high reliable, fast. These are the advantages of an, of an usage of ICs. Classification of an IC. Based on the signal, based on the input signal, your classification of IC will be analog IC and digital IC. Integrated circuits that operates over an entire range of continuous value of signal amplitude is analog IC. It exhibits a linear relation between voltage and current. And in digital IC, the IC operates at few predefined values and these predefined values are maybe 0 and 1. Based on the fabrication, your integrated circuits can be classified as monolithic, hybrid, thick and thin IC. Monolithic IC, where all the components have been placed on a single substrate and then it is said to be as a monolithic IC. Hybrid IC. Your components can be placed and if required you can connect these components to other components and this is called as hybrid IC. Thick and thin IC is more advantage comparing with the hybrid IC in some applications and hybrid IC will represent some advantages comparing with thick and thin ICs in some applications. Either you can use BJT or MOSFETs in fabricating a monolithic IC. Coming to classification of IC based on the logic gates which are used in a substrate or SSI, MSI, LSI and VLSI. The first one is transistor using germanium which is large in size. So, it has been reconstructed by using a silicon. Later on, it was gone on decreasing the size of your IC by increasing the number of gates in your chip. So, first is SSI, small scale integration where you can use 3 to 30 gates per chip. In MSI, medium scale integration, where you can use 30 to 300 gates per chip and in LSI, you can use 300 to 3000 gates per chip. In VLSI, you can use more than 3000 gates per chip. So, as uh, even though the number of logic gates per chip has been increasing, the size of your IC goes on decreasing with increasing your technology. Coming to a package, IC packages. There are three different types of packages, metal can packages, dual inline, flat pack. If you can see here, metal inline, metal can package looks like a can type structure or a cap type structure where all the pins have been connected from the center of your cap. In dual inline, if you can see the body which you are using, the body which, you, which we can see is somewhat bulky. In flat type, the body which we are seeing here is very flattened. So, metal ceiling plane at bottom, the chip is mounted inside the plastic or ceramic case. The chip is enclosed in a rectangular ceramic case. Here, coming to the advantages and disadvantages of usage of metal can package or dip or flat pack or if you are going with the metal can package, the heat dissipation is important factor and high power applications like voltage regulators can be use this metal can packages. Coming to dual inline package, we can use this dual inline package for experimental purpose 
or as leading space is more as lead space is more the space between the leads are more so it is very easy to use for experimental purpose for this dual inline package coming to flat pack it is more reliable and light in weight suitable for airborne applications coming to operational amplifier internal circuits there are three inter three stages in a internal circuit the first one is differential amplifier the second one is gain stage or we can say the dc level shifting and third one is emitter follower or you can say the current gain stage or output stage or the output stage so three stages first one is differential amplifier stage second one is gain stage third one is output stage if you can see the structure here this first part this part is a differential input stage and this part is a gain stage and this part is a output stage coming to a first differential input stage if you can see here you can find out m1 and m2 which are j phase and channel j phase n channel j phase which are used in a differential amplifier dual input single output differential amplifier is used here the inputs are v1 and v2 and output is taken here v01 dual input single output differential amplifier have been used over here the bias current for this circuit will be provided by q6 and q7 an output will be taken across the q4 which is v01 and the next stage is gain stage where you can observe a darlington paint trans paint transistors which are q8 and q9 q8 acts as a emitter follower q8 acts as a emitter follower which provides a large input resistance which reduces a loading effect on differential amplifier where q10 or oh, sorry q9 improves the gain it, it tries to improve the gain of your circ signal next the third stage is output stage where if you can see class ab pushpull complementary was used as q11 and q4 q11 and q12 now q11 acts as a emitter follower which provides a high input resistance so it reduces a loading effect on gain stage instead of j phase here in differential input amplifier you can also go with the mosfets so for this in this circuit the operational internal circuit consisting of three stages one is differential input stage second one is gain stage third one is output stage next coming to equivalent circuit as the symbol of an op amp is given with a rectangular triangle structure which has shown with a dotted line over here and this op amp is having two inputs which are v1 and v2 v1 is a non inverting input which is given to a positive sign which represents a positive sign v2 is a inverting input which represents a negative sign v0 is taken from the from this point v0 is taken from this point this r in represents a input resistance r0 represents the output resistance aol and vd represents the open loop gain and rl represents the load resistance v0 is considered across this point across this r0 you can consider the v0 for the op amp here if you can see your output stage here in the op amp if, if this is an op amp if this is an op amp which is having a output here and these are the inputs v1 and v2 let it be v1 as a input voltage for a invert non inverting terminal and v2 as a input voltage for a inverting terminal your output voltage v0 can be given as v1 minus v2 v1 minus v2 so the output voltage is directly proportional to the difference between the input voltage the output voltage is directly proportional to the difference between the input voltage so v0 is equals to some gain factor a into v2 minus v1 and that gain factor is aol vd represents the difference between the two input signals so we can write this as aol into v1 minus v2 over here because v1 has connected to a non inverting terminal v2 has connected to a inverting terminal so i am writing v1 minus v2 over here and this is ac equivalent circuit of op amp this is useful for analyzing various op amp circuits 
coming to a summary of this video the first thing which we learned is the first thing which we learned is why we are using ice why we are using ice instead of using individual active and passive components it is very is, as it is very difficult to use individual active and passive components if it ha if this uh, 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 if this uh, passive and active components have been connected on a single substrate and that substrate can be used as an ic which is very easy for constructing a circuit second one is what are the advantages of what are the advantages of ic what are the advantages less cost more reliable uh, less weight easy to fabricate or the advantages of an ic next what is the classification how this ic has been classified this ic has been classified based on the input signals as analog and digital ic's based on the fabrication it is a monolithic hybrid or thin and thick substrates and the other one is based on the gates it has been classified and coming to the packages it can be available as metal can package and dual inline package and flat pack packages dual in package is used in laboratories as the space between the legs is more comparing with the metal can and flat pack and fifth one is we have read about the equivalent circuit and equivalent circuit and also block diagram of ic block diagram of ic in block diagram you will be having three stages differential amplifier gain stage and output stage coming to equivalent circuit we represent that v not is directly proportional to the difference between two input signals that is v not is proportional to v1 minus v2 or v2 minus v1 based on the input voltage given to a inverting and non inverting terminals which is very useful to uh, reduce the op amp circuits these are the topics which we have discussed in this video thank you